What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Before we start today's video, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Frankenstein Creations. Run by brothers Garrett and Steen, with the help of their friends Justin and Alex, these two brothers make gear for scare actors by scare actors. From the well-detailed mask design to haunt equipment that you may need, they actually sculpt, mold, and airbrush all their original designs. And they know what it's like to have a tight mask or an uncomfortable one during the season. So they took you into consideration when designing these masks. Go check out frankensteincreations.bigcartel.com and see if they have anything you can use this Halloween or haunt season. And a very special thank you to Frankenstein Creations for being the sponsor of today's video. They love it when I turn off the bass. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. As you saw in that wonderful title, we have a new speculation map from our good friends over at HH Night HH. I don't know. HN how to Nightmares. Get it right. HN Nightmares. Hey, correct. HN Nightmares, because I suck at my job. Um, version 2.0. Um, and we got some great, great content for you all. Uh, but before, as always, how are we doing today, Tony? Uh, it's Friday. I have a job, but I don't got shit to do. So, you know, this has been a productive day. Uh, it's funny because we just, as of this recording, we just released our Haunt update. And then yesterday they, they released the Haunt of, you know, the speculation map for Horror Nights in Hollywood and Orlando. So today we're going to be talking about Hollywood's uh, edition because I don't think we're going to make it out to Orlando this year, which I'm a little bummed about, but it's okay. Hopefully a lot of those guys come out here this season. So we'll get to, we'll get to give them the West Coast treatment this year. Um, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, HN Nightmares, Speculation Map 2.0. Now, first and foremost, before we get, before we dive in and give our theories and our thoughts about 2.0, let's take a look back at 1.0, and let's see what's changed. So this is 1.0's map. If you guys don't remember, we shot a video with Looney uh, in at with Sammy as well in person. Um, a shoot the shit episode where we talked about the maps, and so this is the first map. If you guys forgot, uh, Universal Monsters, the Mummy. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, The Evil Dead, Nope, Scarecrow, La Llorona, The Weeknd, and Terror Tram featuring Hollywood Harry. So that was speculation map one. There's a creep. I can't talk today. A quick recap to refresh your brain. So let's see what speculation map 2.0 has to offer. Kicking it off with something that's changed. Nope got taken off of this map. And we're getting and we have nine attractions. Nine attractions. So let's start off with the first one, uh, which is rumored to be coming to the Waterworld queue this year. Candyman. Don't say his name three times. Yeah, just like Beetlejuice, don't say his name three times. Uh, Candyman. That's two. Is re is, I think for the first time ever would be coming to the event. I know this was rumored in twenty twenty one, but it never got push through so this might be coming in 2022 uh sammy um i know you i'm not i already know the answer but i know you've never seen candy man be wrong the new one yes you've seen the new one i went alone to the theaters to see it wow that shocks me for once he's actually seen a movie i haven't yeah i've seen both the original and the new I've one i've seen the original but i've never i haven't seen the new one but i have it yeah, so uh, I have seen it. Um, it definitely has some great elements of it. I'd have to rewatch it because um, this map just came out yesterday, and I've been a little bit busy, so I haven't got to rewatch the new one. Right. But I definitely think it's a it's a good film, um, and uh, I definitely think it has some potential. Um, it's it has some creepy moments, so I know that. They have done well um, with one of my favorite mazes ever, Us. And that was also a Jordan Pill-esque movie um, made into a maze. So I would expect the same for Candyman, if not better, um, which I know is hard to top. But, I mean, I'm excited for this. It's a, it's a nice change of pace. And it's a, a horror icon that we haven't gotten in a while, if it's ever been there, um, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen I, – I heard – Heard the entire plot and all the details for this new movie, so it, it really caught my attention, so I got to give it a watch. 
But if it is coming to the event, it should be a lot of fun. You know, Waterworld Q is a pretty smaller area, but they figure out a way every year to pack a maze into there, and usually um, a pretty decent maze at that. So we'll see what yeah. happens with Candyman this year. Um, moving on, the Walking Dead location. Now, we've talked about, uh, obviously, them gutting the Walking Dead, obviously, due to the speculation map, um, for room to actually put a maze in. So basically, it would be a soundstage maze in a way, because Walking Dead was actually built to be a soundstage, so it can do what it can do effects-wise and whatnot. Uh, but it looks like we're not getting Walking Dead for the first time in, since 2012, which shocks me. <laughs> so it looks like what's, uh, what's taking over that spot this year, speculated by HN Nightmares, the Evil Dead. Um, and I'm, from rumors I'm hearing, it's supposed to be based around the films, so this is good. Um, now, thinking back at this, I know we talked about Evil Dead the last time. I know you guys haven't seen it. Um, I've seen it. Many times, one of my favorite movies, Evil Dead, the franchise, and the show. Um, but uh, thinking back as to why this is coming to HHN, I think it just hit a milestone or a, a, an anniversary of some sorts recently. But the main focus I can think of is the fact that there is an Evil Dead video game coming out, um, which is supposed to be kind of like a Dead by Daylight game, but except the survivors can actually fight back. Um, and you're going to be playing a lot as the iconic, some of the iconic heroes of the Evil Dead franchise. And you're going to see a lot of the iconic villains of the Evil Dead franchise. It's going to be multiplayer, um, so you can play as the villains or the uh, heroes. Uh, it should be fun. Um, you can play with your friends and whatnot. It's going to be all online and stuff. So this is the only th reason I can think of Evil Dead returning. Uh, I'm not complaining about Evil Dead coming back because I've never gotten to go through an Evil Dead maze other than Ash vs. Evil Dead, which was based off the show. But something based off the movies I've never gotten to go through. So this is kind of exciting for me. What do you think and how do you feel about this coming to the event, if it is going to come to the event? Yeah, the closest thing I've seen to Evil Dead is Cabin in the Woods. Um, That's not even... In, okay. Just it it has some Evil Dead. It, it, it plays off of some of Evil Dead. It plays um, off on a lot of horror movies, but go ahead and keep going. Yeah, but I mean, it has some of the Evil Dead elements to it, like the cabin in the middle of nowhere, that kind of thing. Um, I've seen parts of Evil Dead, but I don't remember it very much. Um, but I definitely think this is a... Uh, it has some potential. I know a lot of people, it has a large cult falling, so a lot of people enjoy it. What I also thought was interesting is on version 1.0, that was in the Waterworld queue, um, and it's since been moved to the Walking Dead location. And I definitely think that a maze that goes in the Walking Dead location is going to have high potential um, because, like you had mentioned, it is a sound stage, so they can manipulate a few more things, which I think is going to be awesome. So, um, pending it coming so whatever comes there is going to have potential um and i definitely think evil dead with its cult following um i definitely think it'll 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 live up to the hype yeah hoping one year fingers crossed that uh they turn exact walking dead location to an hhn hollywood tribute store that would be amazing i'm just saying i mean that'd be pretty sick but if they want to keep using it for mazes things and seasonal things no complaints. I'm, I'm no complaints at all <laughs> Uh, but I would love a tribute star one day. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for Evil Dead if it does come this year. Um, Parisian Courtyard. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of construction of this lately. We talked about it in our video um, that came out uh, last week about Parisian Courtyard. Rumored to be uh, La Llorona again, returning to the event since I think the first time since 2012. Um, yeah. So anyone who's a fan of the Mexican folktale of La Llorona will be returning this year at Halloween Horror Nights, according to HN Nightmares Speculation Map 2.0. And it's still in the Parisian Courtyard. As the facade looks, if you guys seen the walkthroughs, if you guys actually been through it yourselves, the facade is very looking very reminiscent to what it looked like in 2012 and 2011 of the church with the uh, kind of face on it, which is kind of eerie and scary, which really looks cool. So I'm excited to see what that looks like this year if they're going to add some stuff to it if it's going to be the same original thing either way that maze is fantastic so i'm excited to see it be returning again uh sammy you are a huge fan of Lyarona, and you've never been through this maze uh so what are your thoughts about this yeah so uh the one thing i have had a chance to do since yesterday um before filming this is i did have some time a little bit of free time so i did get to watch some walkthroughs of 2012 a little behind the scene of 2012 um, and definitely got some insight. Um, and like you had mentioned, that facade looks very much reminiscent to the 2012 facade. Um, and so that was really cool. And the fact it looks like a face, even even cooler. Um, and just some highlights I thought from just watching the 2012 
walkthrough that I hope that they continue to bring back is one, the water scene with the kids drowning, because that room, it looks pretty sick um, with like the, the ghost effect they can do there. Um, I loved the large puppets that they had done in 2012, um, especially the puppets eating the kids. I thought that was really funny, um, but also quite creepy. Um, and the other thing was the soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack they used in 2012 was phenomenal and very creepy just hearing like the cries of both the children and my um i definitely was excited for that so this is a maze that um I, hopefully it gets announced very soon um and i'm going to be very excited for what did you think uh, about the uh, hidden statue room oh the with the uh, statues where there's like three fake ones and there's the real guy yeah. that room was pretty sick um, and I definitely like the inspiration that John Murdy had said um, in one of the behind the scene interviews I was reading is like he had grew up in the church. Um, and so like he would be walking around churches at night and statues have quite an eerie feeling to Thank them. You very much. Um, and so I thought that was cool. Um, and that just reminds me of the, I think one of the rooms before it is like the, when you were walking into the facade, right. was you were walking into a church where they were having the funeral for the kids. Yeah. Which I thought was super creepy, especially, especially all the when you have the fake morning. people sitting around and then you have a few real ones in there. Yeah. It reminds me a lot, obviously different park, but it reminds me of a uh, origins, right? Uh, the church uh, scene, the church scene in there. Yeah. Um, or even kind of remind, I know that, um, walking through i didn't get a chance obviously walkthroughs i was like queen mary what maze was that one they had a they had a church scene in there kiwi what maze was the church scene in queen mary what maze was that had a church scene in queen mary what year do you know specifically sammy do you remember uh, it was 20 2019 2019 it may have was not it, been a church scene but it had pews. was it whatchamacallit um the one outside Intrepid. Yeah. Intrepid. They had, the, yeah. they had the uh the graveyard that went into the church. Yeah, the pews there reminded Intrepid. me of that. Or even at LA Haunted Hayride in uh, Midnight Mortuary, they do Midnight Mortuary. Very- he worked in that maze too. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Ironically, okay, for those who don't know, real quick, we have a I have a live studio audience in the thing. It's a haunt monster. Um He's eating snacks, and he know he works at Queen, and he worked at Hayride, <laughs> so he knows exactly what we're talking about. That's why he's he's our, our little Winkipedia over there. Yeah, so it reminded me a lot of all of those scenes um, when I watched the, the the walkthrough from 2012, and so I get really hyped watching that. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I mean, I'm I just really can't wait for John. I'm really hoping that we get that. By the prickling of my thumbs or whatever he says. Oh, they, by the prickling of my thumbs, sunk me to wicked, this way this comes. Way comes. I'm really hoping for a tweet like that very soon that says, confirmed Lyrona, because that'll get me very excited to walk through it come I think September. that would be a solid, honestly, like, that's how you start announcement season with the solid, like, original that's a fan favorite, and that gets people hyped for what else is to come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of fan favorites, coming up uh, next on our our discussion um, at Curious George uh, Tent Uno, uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow, the Orlando original, which I have nothing, I have no knowledge about. So I gotta, I gotta do some research going into the next haunt update. But an Orlando original apparently came from or- Orlando, and uh, this uh, one wait, is actually, an Orlando original from Orlando. From Orlando, Orlando original that came from New York. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, our, an Orlando original. Um, I have very little knowledge of how what this story is about or anything, so I'm kind of going into this blind, and I might actually keep it that way until uh, we go to the event, just so I can kind of experience it for the first time myself. Um, but it looks like from construction photos that I've seen recently, this maze is moving along very swiftly. This was the first one to get started on construction, and it looks like you know they usually they always paint the exterior walls black, you know, to keep it uh, from from people, you know, when they walk past it and stuff. The facade is looking amazing, so I'm assuming right now they're in the interior decorating phase, um, and sooner or later it's going to be lights and sound after. So um, I'm very excited for this one, um, and. It, Again, originals at Horror Nights in Hollywood, I'm all for. So if we can do one year, hopefully we have half originals, half IPs, I'd be very satisfied with that. I don't know about you, but I would. Yeah, no, I definitely think uh, that there, it, you have to do a mix of both, I think. I think what makes Hollywood so iconic is its IPs. Um, but I definitely think that you need to let the creative team at Hollywood create these great mazes that are originals. Um 
just so that's a nice ch- fresh change of pace um, that you know just allows them to bring a different story um, and kind of add some unpredictability to the walkthrough because if you've seen um, Candyman, you know what you're walking into, you know what you're expected. Yeah. But as you know, the less we know um, for something like Scarecrow, since it's not a repeat of a Hollywood maze. Um, I think it's going to make the walkthrough, at least your first time, a lot more exciting because you don't know what's coming behind Listen, the wall. In the iconic words of Tame Paula, the less I know, the better. You already I hate know. You sometimes. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm excited. I, I, it's another original, and I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, hopefully, it's it's Scarecrow. I've been hearing also other rumors of Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. I think either either way, I'm excited for either one of those to show up, honestly. So... Um. Yeah. No. Uh, also, in uh, Curious George, we have another one. I know this is one that Tony is quite excited about. Yes, I am. Um, that that is being speculated in Curious George Tent Two. Um, will be an American werewolf in London. I know mm. this is a maze that, like I said, that Tony's quite excited about. Um, and a maze that Tony thinks very highly of. Very much. Um, it's I mean, a movie I have off, never seen. I was going to say, you know, you've never seen this movie, right? Yes, I've never seen this movie. Iconic. Iconic werewolf film, 100%. This is one of the greatest werewolf movies ever made. Uh, yeah, uh, I definitely, it was an 80s... 1980s a, film, right? Yeah, it's a 1980s And film I also film. believe one of the makeup artists from Face Off was the makeup artist for this film and actually went on to win Academy Awards for this film because of the makeup. It was ahead oh, of wow. its time. So, yeah, fun little fun fact. Sh- I have to check it out. Hopefully, it's on our. It's our, on the voodoo. It is on the voodoo. I have it to is on the login. voodoo. I have to get the login again. Of course, it's maybe on I'll the watch voodoo. it tonight. Yeah, yeah, there you we'll go. See. A little Friday night film. We'll see. But uh, um, yeah, American Werewolf in London, bro. So this maze came, I believe, in twenty. I, th- I think it was twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen, um, and it was just a fucking great maze. It was in the Jurassic World queue um, when they used to have mazes over there. And the facade was the Slaughtered Lamb, which was the iconic uh, pub that you see in the beginning of the film. Um, and it took you throughout the entire journey of, of him getting bit by the werewolf to him becoming the werewolf, all this good stuff, um, all the way to the end of the film. Uh, so such a good, good film and such a great maze. So I'm curious. Now this is going to be, I'm curious, haha, Curious George tent number two, which hasn't started a construction. I think they just put the tent down and they already have kind of the, the layout of where the maze is going to go. Now it's time to actually build up. Um, so they haven't started construction on this one yet. Um, but if it is American Werewolf in London, dude, um, I just hope that it's, uh, I hope it's the, honestly the same or a little bit better than the first time around because that maze was just so good um, that I really felt like I was walking through the movie in five minutes. So, Sammy, Werewolves, one of the greatest werewolf movies of all time. How do you feel about this property coming to Halloween Horror Nights, if it's true? Well, uh, typically, if you're excited about something, it is it has come to fruition to be good. Yeah. Um, like one of the other things we'll be talking about very shortly. Um so I'm excited for that. Um, I'll definitely have to give this film a watch um, to get some better ideas of what it what it uh, has in store. I think I've seen some clips from it, but I can't. I don't remember them off the top of my the head. The iconic uh, Nazi pig scene, the nightmare Nazi pig scene, where the pigs mm. just come in and kill his whole family. Uh, no, I don't. Nightmares. Oof. No, I don't. I don't remember that. That's a scary scene right there, man. But. That's a good scene. There's a lot of great iconic scenes, but I'll let you watch the film and you can probably reminisce to those, the ones you have seen. Yeah, I probably, I, I saw them a while back. Um, but I, I mean, I, to be honest, is I, even though we're going through this, this speculation map I'm quite excited for. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think there's anything on here that I'm like upset with. I, I'm not upset with any of them. I think there's just one that I'm a little on the fence with and we'll get to it pretty soon. Um, but other than that, everything else I'm excited for. And even the one that I'm kind of on the fence with, I'm still excited to see what that turns out to be. You know what I mean? Because it, it could, honestly, I'm not liking, I'm not a fan of said artist, but it could shock me. And I could be a fan of him after this maze. So, but before we get to that one, let's talk a little bit about something that's gotten changed from just The Mummy to now Universal Monsters, The Mummy vs. The Wolfman, music by Slash. Now, 
on the last on our last week's update, we did talk about Slash leaking that he had started that he's going to be doing the music again for Universal Monsters. Um, however, this speculation map has changed. It usually it, at first it was just the Mummy. Now it's the Mummy versus Wolfman. And before we went on air, Sammy and I had a pretty good talk about this. How we don't think it's pretty much an even fight between a supernatural being and a werewolf. <laughs> so. Sammy, you want to elaborate on a little, a little bit more of what we thought about this maze and, and how we would have done it different if this is true? Yeah, I definitely think that it was a curious decision to change this, theoretically, from the mummy to the mummy versus the wolfman. Um, in 2019, we had Frankenstein versus the wolfman, the wolfstein versus Frankenstein, whatever it was. Um um, but so I thought that was a curious move because I really was excited just to have a mummy specific maze next to the mummy ride. Obviously, they're going to be two different mummies. Um, <clears throat> so I was a little slightly disappointed on that. Um, but I know that in the last three iterations of the Universal Monsters that we've had, the one in 2018. Um, uh, 2019 Frankenstein the Wolfman and then the Brides of Frankenstein was that what it was called? Bride of Frankenstein Lives right? yeah Bride of Frankenstein Lives those were all fantastic mazes um, and mazes that we enjoyed going through in 2019 and 2021 for me and watching um, from the previous year in 2019 so I'm excited for that but I was a little disappointed that it wasn't his own maze meaning the mummy that it's being speculated. Um, and then on to what the comment that Tony was making about how Hold one on. has a supernatural power. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We're talking about this maze still. Okay, go ahead. I thought we were yeah. talking about something different. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, one has a supernatural power, meaning the mummy, and then the wolf man obviously just becomes a wolf. Um, that that's a kind of an unfair battle, and so we thought yeah. that was a little strange. Well, especially like for fans of the mummy, you guys know that this is basically based around Egyptian gods and, and whatnot and, and Egyptian, you know, dark entities and stuff like that. So it is a little weird to see someone like the mummy who can literally, if you've seen these movies, can literally lift shit with his mind and shit like that, you know, like sands and shit and buildings and destroy shit, go up against the Wolfman who, don't get me wrong, is a very powerful villain, very strong villain, but... When you're going up against the, the mummy, it doesn't take much to take down the Wolfman at that point. You know what I mean? Just get like a freaking metal fucking beam and just shove it down his chest and he's dead. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I thought that was strange. And and considering the fact that was we just talked about the maze previous the maze previous to this one, that's two wolves. Yeah, it, um, which is also like more werewolves than ever. More werewolves than ever. All right, cool. I'm sold. Take I take sold. back everything I just we, said. We're done with this topic now. More werewolves than ever. <laughs> no, what I think, though, is what, what's unique about this is Murdy likes to take these properties and make his own unique spin on them. And this is why the last video we made of the, the Haunt update, this is something that we talked about where Universal Monsters is sort of an original maze, but they're based off IPs where they're all original stories that Murdy and the creative team have come up with. Um, so I'm curious to see what this storyline is going to be. I know when we had the Awaken the Spirits panel, we were super sold on The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. It was great. He gave us a complete rundown of what the story is going to take without giving away too much details, but he gave us he got gave us enough to be excited for. And I'm excited to see if if he does have a panel at Midsummer Scream, specifically that's coming up next as far as the big convention goes. Um, if he does another one of these panels where he breaks down either this maze or something else. Um, but regardless, I'm excited to see what story comes up with for this maze if it is the mummy versus the wolf man so should be good slash the scores are always great you and i have had no complaints with his scores throughout the years that guy can is very talented from guns and roses to his own solo stuff to doing this collaboration with halloween horror nights taking the time out of his year every year to to do this is no no hard, no easy mission but he does it every every year and produces one of the greatest scores i've ever heard in a maze of all time so um i'm excited uh, hopefully it's beyond our expectations, but... Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. All right, here we go. Um, what what have we not said about this one already? I feel like we've beaten it. I feel like we don't even this. have to say anything about this. It's still on the map. <laughs> we've said everything we can say about this. 
I just said I just went on a rant earlier about maybe this may as well shock me. I'm not a fan of this type of music. I like like two songs yeah. from him. Yada yada yada. You've already heard it from us. There's not much we can report more on this maze unless we get any other details or information. Unless you have something you want to add. Um. Yeah, I just, as I say every time, I want one of the ability to not fill my face when I walk through there. We just want um, Daniel Craig to be in the entire maze throughout the, yeah. you know, just ladies and Daniel gentlemen, Craig, the weekend. Yeah, Daniel Craig in the beginning saying, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. He's got to be the final scare. Um, But I want, a, I want an effect where they blow something on my face and I can't fill my face. Yeah, um, I need some blinding lights, you know, like... <laughs> Some really yeah, blinding just, lights. Yeah, just, just <laughs> not, I don't need that because then I'll get a migraine and I'll have to leave. And I don't want to leave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the, this is this is the one that we're probably gonna oh, dive a little bit deeper into. It's got it's got it, it's got a weird title, so we're a little confused. But go ahead, Sammy, take it away. Yeah. So, but one, it's a, a new location um, because this maze initially was. Um, Sort of said to be in the Walking Dead location, right? But now it's changed locations and changed names, which is Killer Clowns from Outer Space Two, which we have questions. We got a lot of questions, and as a first fan question, of the film, I I definitely have sequel questions. First question is: I know that there is a script out there for a Killer Clowns Two, and I know who wrote it. So, uh. Does that mean that script is coming to life in a maze? That's our first question. And I don't think we're going to have answers to any of these questions. No, until, we won't. Until, until, until we actually one, see a, it with our own eyes or get info Until about one, it. it officially gets confirmed. And two, we see it with our own eyes. The second question is the two representing just, oh, it's coming back for another year. And they just want to mess with us. Are we doing a Bride and Frankenstein Lives kind of thing where this is a spiritual sequel to the fucking Bride of Frankenstein? This is a spiritual sequel to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, We're not the, the only other, ones that thought of sequels for this movie. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is the location, um, because it's brand new. This is brand new location. Where where, where is this location? It behind just is behind Soundstage Twenty Nine. So I did see someone did take. Uh, I just saw this recently. I don't remember if it was on Twitter or if I was on Instagram. Someone did take an aerial picture of this area. And it looks like a giant kind of space, uh, like a walkway, sort of like the mummy queue. Um, so my question begs, okay, we got the space, but where are we going to get in line for this maze at? <laughs> like, okay, so Sammy and I were talking a little bit about this before we went on air, too. We were thinking you're going to go down the same way you used to go down for the backlot mazes, but there is a little area before you hit the tunnel that actually takes you down to that area and kind of curves, and you're going to have to do a little bit of walking. Let's just say this. And it takes you down to that area. So I'm assuming it's going to be the entrance for there if this is a true location and this is going to happen. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that's where you're going to go because where Soundstage 29 is, that's they have the line where Transformers usually is, and that takes you to Soundstage 29. And I'm assuming you'll exit the same area where we exit Soundstage 29, and you'll come out that way as well. So it's a little confusing to us because we don't know if this is confirmed or not. It's being rumored that this is going to be a new location. But can I get on to the point where we got, it says Killer Clowns 2? Like, bro, I have so many sequel ideas for this fucking film. For those who don't know, if you guys are new to the channel, yes, I am a diehard fan of this film. I have so many ideas for a sequel. I've even talked to some of the cast members who have ideas for this sequel. What is, what are we getting at? Is this going to be an original or is this telling us that it's returning for a second year? Like, I, I just, I don't, I'm a little conflicted right now. Or is this an announcement? So if it does get announced, does that mean that the script has been greenlit and that we are actually getting a, well, a second film? It's funny you bring that up because <laughs> Amazon did buy out MGM this year. Yes. So that does give more hope for a Killer Clowns from Outer Space 2 sequel on Amazon, Amazon Instant. So... And how much will Tony, how excited will Tony be? It's not how excited we'll be. It's how many people can I try to contact to get a cameo in the film? <laughs> Even if I die, I don't care. Even if I'm running in the background, I don't care because I'll know in my mind I was in that movie. Yes. Whether it sucks or it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm in the Killer Clowns universe. Knights of Horror is in the Killer Clowns universe. It is canon. It is canon. <laughs> 
So, but I don't know. I, I guess we're just going to have to wait till we find out. My personal f- belief is that we're just getting the first, it's just going to be the movie, the first movie again. That's the only thing I can do. And hopefully they're smart enough to rent out Orlando's Clownzilla because I need a giant Clownzilla this year. I was just going to say that. I was going to say if it does come back for a sequel and it's just Killer Clowns from Outer Space 2, meaning the second time we get it, the second iteration, do we get Orlando's Clownzilla? And if we do, does Tony buy a frequent fear pass and waste all of his money driving to Hollywood multiple weekends? Or, uh, or Hunter can drive me. Either way. It works out. Oh, <laughs> make Hunter drive you. I'm not going to make her drive me. I'm going to ask her if she wants to drive me. If she says no, then I have no choice but to drive. But, you know, it's it's a thought. Hey, Hunter, if you're watching this, uh, do you mind driving me? No. Assuming okay. it comes. I love you, Hunter. Appreciate you. Assuming it comes. She said no. So she, you were Assuming good. it comes. It, it, I really hope it, it doesn't. Like I'm, I'm if it doesn't, it's not going to affect me already because I've already walked through. I've already been through it a couple of times, so I'm not going to be affected by it one bit. If it if it shocks me with another maze, then good. That's other things I get to take a look at. But if it comes back, uh, hell yeah, I'm going to be excited. That's like if us came back, you'd be fucking hell excited. I would be excited. Would you though? This is the another question, and uh, this is the question for everyone watching. Answer in the comments down below. Would you prefer that it stays as a maze, or do you want it to come as a scare zone? I feel like there wasn't things they touched on in the maze the first time around. So as a scare zone, I feel like you can touch on those specific things, like the brothers with the ice cream truck. I mean, you we you know we we heard them, but we never saw them. Um, so that'd be cool to see in the scare zone. Uh, some more of the clowns that you didn't get to see in the maze we can see in the scare zone. Um, I think I would prefer it as a scare. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the lick a stick. Come on, you know. Um, the lick a stick. For those who know, no. If you um, know, you know. But it would be cool to see, you know, Shorty in the boxing gloves running around and shit, you know. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Just, just to see it as a scare zone because the one in Orlando looks so fucking fun. And it was in a small area. But it looks so fun, and they utilized every bit of that space. So I'd like to see it as a scare zone. At the very least, if we got it as a scare zone, I would not be mad at that either. Because you know where I'd be the entire night. And be like, you guys go have fun. I'm going to go get content with killer clowns. I'm going to take a picture with every clown. I Mark my words. I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> if you get a scare zone, I, I, I won't come up to you personally because I respect your job too much. And I respect what you're trying to do. But I will, from a distance, try to get a picture with every individual clown i will stand on the other side while you're scaring someone from the other side just to get a picture even if i can't see your face i will get a picture that's how obsessed i am with this film moving on (laughs) closing it closing out the speculations here um well i mean there's one more there's a show on here that we're not going to cover we're not going to talk about it yes we just Uh, don't want to give it any ounce of energy yes Uh, unless it's a hot night (laughs) last but certainly not the least uh tear tram hollywood Harry. So again, uh, like the weekend, there's not much we can report on this. We've already pretty much talked about what we can talk about about this. Um, this is pretty much sticking to it what it is, though, and looks like Terror Tram is coming back. It's looking like it's sticking to Hollywood Harry. Hollywood Harry is returning. I'm curious to see what his third part of the story would be. Um, yeah, there's really not much I can say other than that. I mean, you've I don't think you've ever seen Hollywood Harry, huh? Or have you? I have not. So uh, this will I've, be your first I've, time. I've seen the little, like... Um, found footage clips oh, that him. that crypt tv put together yeah i've seen that but um i've not gone through a uh, hollywood harry uh tear trap so i think it'll be fun it'll be a nice change of pace i mean you and i regardless of the theme i think you and i just love going back there just to see the bates motel and the house and the war of the world stuff so yeah um yeah it was definitely just hate walking up that hill yes i hate walking up every hill uh yeah <laughs> Especially the one to Curious George Tents. That hill is... Uh, I'd rather walk the back lot than that hill any day of the week. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd rather deal with the smell of the back lot. Yeah, and the sewage smell through. while you're walking down by Kong. If you yeah. know, you know. Yeah, that right. hill is a, a mess. But, you know, we out here training, clanging, and banging so we can not die on that hill. Exactly. Okay. But... Let us know what you guys think about HN Nightmare's newest speculation map. I'm thinking it looks like a solid event if all these properties are coming. I am actually not disappointed in one event or one 
attraction. I'm very much looking forward to this year. It's a big step up from 2021. Um, but we, Sammy and I have already made it clear we both give 2021 a pass due to the circumstances. Um, so hopefully this is a redemption year for them. They come back strong. It's looking like with this lineup, if it is true, very strong. So I'm excited to see that. With all that being said, if you guys are new to the Knights of Horror, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the Knights of Horror. And Twitter is what, Sammy? Um, Twitter is Knights of Horror, whereas Instagram is the Knights of Horror. Bam. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, as well as uh, drop a comment down below what maze you are most excited for. Um, or if you have any thoughts about anything we discussed today, drop a comment down below. We review all the comments. Um, and we're, well, you know, we're always happy to read them, reply back um, as necessary. And uh, hit that bell notification so that you can be alerted every time we post wonderful videos just like this one. Uh, but if nothing else, we hope you have a fantastic day. And we will see y'all in the next video. Give them the love.